Morning guys, so it is the 16th of October today and the temperature is already 19 degrees and we're expecting highs of 24 degrees. 24 degrees today on like the middle of October. What on earth is going on? So today guys I'm going to show you something I've been working on for a little while. It's kind of like one of these little background projects um, but it's my solar powered um, trailer which is just basically like a normal trailer that goes on the back of the car that we use to you know cart stuff about on. Um, but I've actually put solar panel on the top, um, say panel, I've only got one at the moment, and um, I've got batteries inside and I'm using it to kind of, you know, create a little power source. I've got some lights in there as well. It's been in a couple of the other vlogs, like I've probably been in, actually inside there while I was doing some work on the bike. So what I want to do is I want to go back to this project because I've kind of, I haven't really done anything with it for a little while. Um, I want to maybe upgrade the batteries because we've only got sort of a small capacity battery in there and also put an inverter in there um, because we do get the occasional power out here um, being rural and we're always like ah and I've nearly bought an inverter so many times uh, but I think I'm just going to do it now and then use the trailer as almost like a kind of backup power supply um, for mains power and, and everything else. Um, I can actually charge the quad bike from the trailer as well which is quite cool. Um, the e-bike e takes a little bit too much power um, to, to charge up so and also the e-bike charger runs on actual mains voltage so it's a bit pointless having you know 12 volts getting stepped up to 240 to come back down to 84 volts so yeah I kind of need need another solution for that but I've been meaning to kind of cover this properly in a in a video for, for a little while so I'm going to show you that today it's ridiculous it feels exactly like it just feels like a summer's day <laughs> Again. So here's the trailer guys, looks like a normal trailer, not quite. So on the hottest day of October we've got a Christmas tree coming. What on earth? It's definitely a Christmas tree. Okay so it's an outdoor Christmas tree which kind of makes it a little bit better but... Oh well, I see a lot of thumb on that going off while I'm in here. So let's start by turning some lights on. This little switch here um, turns on and off a 12 volt circuit, which you can have like other 12 volt um, things plugged in. I think these two sockets here as well, and the USB ports, I believe. So you just hit that, and now we've got some decent lighting going on it. Um, in here, I've just got these, which are just LED lights, but they're ridiculously bright. Yeah, as you can see, that they're you know they're super bright. Um, they were just off Amazon, like another sort of 15 quid or something like that, and you just they just run off 12 volts, so they're pretty good. And they've just basically got like um, adhesive backs, so they stick onto anything, and they seem to handle the moisture as well. They haven't dropped off yet. So yeah, back to the controller then. Um, the solar panels obviously on the other side of here um, comes in via these two wires, um, just positive and negative, and I've done like a, a kind of water sealed junction box on the outside. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and these are just kind of extension wires and that just runs basically into the input on this. So you can see it's actually charging at the moment, um, 14 volts. It's, this is only a 12 volt system, so um, it's kind of you know peaking at the minute, um, nearly 15 volts. And it tends to sort of get to around 15, then it drops off again. Um, you can see it just dropped down kind of a bit. So I think it kind of, um, you know, it's not gonna overcharge the batteries too much. Uh, and then your charge current here, it's a relatively sunny day at the moment, 2.2. You see it kind of turning on and off because it's basically, um, you know, when it reaches the, the fully charged voltage, it kind of um, turns the main charge off. But I've seen this as high as about six amps, nearly six or seven amps. Because the panel is actually a 120 watt panel. Um, I think that's right, it's a, it's a flexible one. So it's one of these ones, but I just went for the sort of highest wattage I could get. And that was about 200 quid. So it was quite expensive, but you know, it's, um, it's a good panel. And so these two wires coming out the bottom of the charge controller go straight into this battery box. This battery box is just like a kind of electrical cabinet I had knocking around, so I just put it in here to keep the uh, keep the batteries in one place while the tra trailer's kind of, you know, jiggling around all over the road. So you can see in here, I've got a couple of um, dirt cheap SLA batteries. These were actually out of the quad bike, believe it or not. Um, there was four of them in the quad bike in total. Um, two of them didn't really last that long and then I've just basically salvaged two and paralleled them together. So I think these are 20 amp hour each 
and um, I've got them paralleled together and that gives you obviously about 40 amp hour. So it's not a bad amount of current, um, you know, it's, it's, it's well overkill just for powering these lights, uh, but it'll be enough to charge like the quad bike um, and yeah, probably like a small inverter as well. I might get a big battery, um, like a sort of 100, 100 amp hour plus one, um, you know, if I'm gonna use an inverter on it, because that's the next thing I wanna do, I wanna put an inverter in here so I can use this as almost like a backup power supply. Um, so when the power supply goes in the house, we can, you know, um, just use this for, for only for like small things like the TV and the internet, things like that. Um, so yeah, that's going well. So you might be wondering what this is on the top here. So this is one of those little Turnergy battery monitor things that you can get from Hobby King. And I can't remember how to, oh, here we go. So it basically just shows you some sort of in-depth information really about, uh, you know, your voltage, the current going into the battery, current going out of the battery. Um, peak amps you see, so it's saying about 8 amps there, that must be the maximum charge it's reached and then lowest voltage, um, you can see it kind of moving about there, you see it on the camera that will. I just had this knocking around so I thought I'd just you know put it on there because it's quite quite cool to see some extra information and also compare it to what it's saying on here to see if it's kind of you know in the right ballpark. But you can see my lights are drawing 1.4 amps, um, so yeah they do take a little bit of current. What I've found with the lights is sometimes I've just left them on completely and um, yeah, for like probably like a week and it hasn't run out because obviously the charge current is higher than the, um, than the light. So right now on a sunny day, see like 1.9 coming in and 1.3 going out. The lights are completely being powered off the sun, which is pretty, pretty nifty really. Now the other things on here, I have tried briefly, I've tried charging a phone on the USB port, that works. I haven't tried these 12 volt. Um, sockets here they're pretty low current actually I think they're only like one amp output so if you want to run 12 volts really you just got to go straight to the battery and that's what I'm going to do you know with the charger and the, obviously the inverter if I get one and do it that way but um, yeah it's pretty nifty having this little switch to turn it turn everything kind of on and off now I just use that as a light switch probably would be better kind of close to the door but this way everything's up here at the end and then when I've got stuff in the trailer I can just you know, not worry about it getting hit by anything. This socket here is basically just like a main socket um, and this just goes straight through to the other side of the trailer and I've got like a caravan power hookup on there. So you can, yeah, basically you can just, you know, have a mains input into the trailer without having a kind of extension lead coming in there. That was pretty straightforward to set up. I'll show you outside of the trailer now. So obviously the panel, as I was saying, 120 watt panel. I fixed this down with caravan sealant. It's like a caravan adhesive, but this is so strong, literally that, you know, you can't, you can't pull that up. I've been on a couple of kind of journeys and it hasn't come off so far, so that's all good. And then round to the front of it, as I was saying, there's the little caravan hookup, which is just at the bottom, just goes straight through. Uh, and then I've got this box here, which is pretty big. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was when it um, turned up, but it allows you to, Obviously put your cables in through here and then come out the other side, all sealed. Again, this was done with like caravan sealant and everything around the outside, so there's no water getting in there. And then the wires were a little bit too long, so rather than cut them, I've just got lazy and just looped them around there. <laughs> so if I get another panel, I'll probably sort this out properly. I might put another one next to it um, if I need to. But yeah, that's about it. It works pretty well. As I say, I'm gonna get the inverter, definitely gonna get that, um, and then, We'll see how that kind of works with those batteries, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's probably not going to be enough. Those batteries are going to are probably get depleted pretty quick. Um, but if you're talking about a kind of hour of, of backup power, um, it'll probably be all right. And actually those, you know, I like how kind of compact all that kind of setup is. Um, so it'd be good to kind of keep it that way. We'll see how it goes um, and I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. Christmas trees here. Really? Yeah. It's something to do with um, hurricane Ophelia or something, where it's like blowing up dust and stuff into the atmosphere and making everything go weird and red. Strange. Anyway, I've planted the Christmas tree, so that's all good. What are you doing? Looking like you've done something. It's getting weirder. Oh, 
my guys just come out to the um, to the workshop to see if I could find something. I was looking for this. My little Joby tripod thing. These are pretty good actually. I think this one's a little bit too small for this camera, but I'm gonna try it again anyway. Because they're quite handy because you can like clamp them around things um, so you can get the shot. Right, I've got it on the camera. How's that looking? I might be a little bit further away now because um, quite close up. It's quite zoomed in, but uh, anyway, that's all I'm coming here for. It's so windy now. This would be quite a good low light test actually. See if you can actually uh, actually see me because it is pitch black. Actually pitch dark. I can't even see the lock. Let's see how it is. Well, obviously, it's going to work now because of the, I've got the lights on. And that, guys, is the end of the vlog.